welcome to my channel and this week the video is on talismans and amulets what's the difference and also a little bit of charms in between anyway guys I hope you enjoy Gothic Witch here. Hope you're all doing well. This is a relaxed video this week. I needed to chill out a little bit. I wanted to keep my schedule going but we've had some problems with my beautiful fur baby who had a stroke yesterday and it's been really difficult. He's, he is on the mend but he is old and we don't expect a lot from him but I thought I'd do one today um, I had a request for a video on talismans and amulets and the difference well we'll start with amulets um, amulets is something that goes way back before written history they're things that people have attained and think have got properties in them that will keep them safe, walled off evil, things like that. Have you ever worn a St. Christopher? Have you ever had a coin that you've kept in your purse or your wallet because you think it's going to aid you in some way? That is with them because when you think of amulet, it is basically something that walls off negative energy, something that will keep you safe or it will give you that positive thought that I'm carrying this and I am safe that is an amulet so it can come in many forms the rabbit's foot the claw the stones a piece of jewelry even a four-leaf clover some people think that's a charm but charms are interlinked into this because at the end of the day what you're doing is you're taking something that could be from your family like something in the family that have spoken to you from the very early age telling you that this will keep you safe sometimes people get an acorn I know at the beginning of the year a pagan thing is to find little acorns and put them in a card so that when the person opens the card up three always the number three come out and that is a, a form of protection of luck of um, giving good fortune to someone and guarding them from any evil or negative energy so again you can have natural forms of amulets so think about the type of amulet you may have worn over the years and if you want you can put some unusual ones maybe in the comments which would be great I'd love to hear um, now a charm is something people attain to a charm can be like people wear a charm bracelet and they put things that are like memories on them which give them good feeling and give them a feeling of security now charms do come into it in a way because people will wear say a pentacle um, that is like a form of protection you feel protected when you're wearing silver um, silver has properties in and that's to do with the planetary system which will give also protection against negativity and anything around you that you don't want and so there are many forms of this in the amulet now going on to talismans talismans are slightly different with amulets you're seeking protection from anything that's negative, anything that's evil, a protection around you in particular or your family or you can lay these things at a child's uh, bed at night to keep them safe. 
So that is what the amulet is. It protects. With a talisman, it is slightly different. A talisman is a magical piece of jewellery, or it can be anything really. You can make it out of clay. Anything that you deem is going to be easy for you to hold. You could even just do a drawing of, say, runes and add them together. What happens with this is that with a talisman, you have to give power to it. And it's man-made. It's something that you have created. And then you empower. And then that person that is going to have this, um, this talisman will hold it on their body somewhere or on their person or around their home and it will enhance your power it will enhance what it is you want it to do for you so for example you might want a talisman if you're going on a long journey to keep on your body to keep you safe while you are traveling um, there are many reasons for people wanting a talisman, but a talisman is often imbued with magical spell. So the person making it would put that into it or get somebody who has that ability to increase with magical intent. So the difference between the two is they're different. One is em empowering and one is protecting. They are often mixed up and people get them confused. But really, all you have to remember is that a talisman is to empower and build up and give you the necessities and the equipment to after yourself or you get the amulet which does it all for you and isn't magically empowered it has that natural ability because of what we believe so a lot of it is to do with self-belief with an amulet because something that you believe so for example people know they wear a Saint Christopher it's going to keep them safe on a journey and it has to be silver because silver is the properties and comes from the moon and the moon controls the water on the earth it controls us because we are made up of water so the the moon has a lot to do with it so when you get a Saint Christopher being silver and that goes for other jewelry too so it could be a pentacle it, or a pentagram rather it could be even a silver cross and chain things that people wear they can be empowered because of planetary aspects so the things that you grow up knowing so like a Christian would put their cross and chain on because it gives them that feeling oh, they are protected you see that in the films when um, when Dracula's about to attack someone and they've got a cross on their neck and he can't go near them because obviously they're protected. So again, we are taught from an early age that certain things have protection to them. So a coin in your purse, never give a bag without a coin, a silver coin in it, otherwise the person will end up poor. <laughs> Silly little things like, you know, but they are things that we are brought up believing will empower and stop anything bad getting to us. So if you love someone, you might give them um, a jewellery, a piece of jewellery, which will bring them protection from anything that's, that could harm them. So again, that is an amulet, whereas a talisman is something you purposely put together put your energy into and also your spell work into and it is for a specific thing and again there are 
rune bindings and all sorts of things you can include in that because you're empowering them and you're using them and you're placing them on your body or around you to keep whatever it is you want it for. So as I say, it could be travel, it could be to help somebody get over an illness, to stop anything, stopping them from getting better. It could be all manner of reasons. There is no limit to what you can make a talisman do for you. It can also be used for protection, but it will be building your power up to stop whatever it is that it is you want to stop. So that is a difference, my friends, between the two. And I'm going to leave it really short this week because I'm also looking into my channel and I don't honestly know whether I might just do one video per week so that I can put a lot more energy into that one video and give you guys more quality. Gives me time to do more research and also gives me time in between to have a bit of a rest. I'm also thinking of starting a, another channel as well, but on something completely different. And I will give you an update on that. I'm just looking into it at the moment because this channel don't seem to be doing so well. I want to teach, I want to get the messages out there to people but it isn't doing as well as I thought it would, so it's not reaching the amount of people that I hoped it would. But I'm not gonna give up on it, guys. The channel's been running, getting on for three years now, and I am not going to flog a dead horse. What I'm gonna do is put up, as I said, one video a week, see how it goes, and if, it slows down and it's not meant to be then I will stop putting videos on that channel but on my new channel it will be on paranormal because I've had a lot of paranormal situations in my life and I feel I I could share a lot of this stuff to people and give them help in their situations at the end of each story so on that note I hope you guys are really well and I would love some feedback. I would love to be able to get to know some of you and um, please be known. I'm always here and I would love to talk to you all. Anyway, I would say thank you to any new subscribers but for some reason I'm not getting any at all. So I will say thank you to those that are always there always watching my videos and always supporting me without you guys i would have given up a very long time ago so i really do appreciate it thank you ever so much and from the bottom of my heart thank you to anybody that's going to light a candle for my my lovely fur baby his name is bobby he's a greyhound he's a black greyhound he's 12 years old and he had his stroke on his birthday bless his little cotton socks we really want him to get better but obviously we know he's getting old but for anybody that's sending out healing to him or good thoughts to him or lighting a candle for him I really do appreciate it and I thank you anyway guys I'm gonna leave it there hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll be back maybe with only one next week I'm thinking on it anyway I'm gonna let Wherever you are, whatever time of day, night or evening it may be, I wish you the best ever. Love you guys. House of Lang.